Good evening once again everyone. We have one paper program for families. Additionally, we have QR codes posted on each of the light posts that you may scan and that is a copy of the program as well. Out? This us way or this way?
Good evening once again, everyone. If you did not get a copy, paper copy of the program, we have QR codes posted on each of the light posts, one on each side of the bleachers. You can scan those QR codes, and that is this evening's program. There are some paper copies around. If you want to share or trade, but there are QR codes posted on each of the light posts, just on either side of the bleachers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once again, everyone, if you did not get a paper copy of the program, they are, there are QR codes to scan on either of the light poles on either side of the stand.
Good evening, everyone. I'd like for everyone to please stand or remain standing as I invite to the podium to sing our national anthem, Ariel Alanya, J.C. Angerson, and Katie Pizella. I'd ask that you please remain standing as the salutatorian of the class of 2023, Janum Shah, leads us in the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Junior Marshals, please seat our graduates. Everyone else, please be seated. I would now like to call up the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Ashika Jagadish.
Let me paint you a picture of one of the most transformative and unexpected moments in our journey. A time when our entire class had to face hardship so profound that would have forever changed the course of our lives. A time when the threat of isolation helped us emerge stronger and more unified than we ever were before. We all thought it was just going to be another average school day until the fateful announcement broke the news the next day was Field Day. Back in elementary school, we refused to lose another game of tug of war and let the white team win for the second year in a row. And blistering speech, we desperately tried to preserve our dignity by defeating the other and vicious manner. And then finally, the day would come to a peaceful day as we laid on the lawn and ate ice pot, laughing about how silly you all looked jumping around in potato sacks. You might be wondering, Ashika, why are you talking about field day to us during our high school graduation? Well, it seems pretty insignificant to us now. It was one of our earliest moments where we started experiencing what it felt like to be a community, to be a team. From playing childhood games, we began learning how to empower each other to succeed. It's one of the characteristics I love the most about this class. As we became high school students several years later, it is this undying sense of unity that has helped all of us get to this point. How struggling through difficult classes, competing against tough teams, heartbreak, growing pain, and a pandemic. For me, a powerful community was my AP physics class where we were humbled by test grades in the 50s and 60s and problems that we barely understood. But Mr. Al refused to let us give up when he spent hours with us after school and during his weekend, setting up Zoom calls to go over test questions. Occasionally, he went on tangents, where he ranted passionately about hitting Tesla customer service or told us stories about studying physics and math at university in Turkey. On exam days, we proudly wore our yellow physics t-shirts and bragged to the other zealous AP science classes. Eventually, our physics class became a family that bonded over our struggles trying to handle the most difficult high school science course. As a grade, we formed our own family, from sports teams, classes, and clubs. We made memories digging through our closets to dress up like Adam Sandler or cheering on teammates during senior days. I know I won't forget movies in Mr. Antino's class, Barbie and Candy experiments with Mr. Infante, or working on final A-push projects for Mr. DeSecco. Whether it was through joining Zoom classes in bed, or having an impressive number of fire drills freshman year, we all found unique ways to remember our journey. High school was not only a place where we struggled and triumphed, but a place where we grew and learn from each other. I took away many valuable lessons, and I'd like to share some of them with you today. Growing up with an immigrant family, I understood the many sacrifices my parents made to allow me to have a better future. I was taught to make the most out of being given the privilege of living in the land of opportunity. I lived my life like a checklist and could be described for perfection in every single area. I often saw my older sister excel at everything, from sports to academics in both high school and college. Why don't you live this more like your sister? Why can't you clean your room more like your sister? Why can't you be more like your sister? These were questions that rang through my ears on a regular basis. Many of you in the audience with siblings can probably relate to this similar to life. My sister set the bar a little too high, and to be honest, I was jealous. It was hard to go anywhere without being compared to her. But hearing her story changed my perception entirely. She told me about the struggles of working in a male-dominated field. She told me about feeling discredited, demoralized, and discouraged by the same managers and teachers that she looked up to. Her story showed me how there was another dimension to her success that I never saw before. Behind every accomplishment was years of struggle and disappointment. 
This made me realize how we can either choose to be jealous of another's success or to feel empowered to the point that we expand our realm of possibility. We can choose to believe that we can be as successful as the people that we look up to. The fact of the matter is that comparison is a part of human nature. We always want to feel smarter, stronger, and more attractive. Our society encourages it. It's a part of who we are. Our world today revolves around highlight reels. Our social media feeds make perfection seem like the norm. And if we, if we immediately jump to the conclusion, there must be something wrong with us. Even at FLHS, we often hear about the cutters, making massive victories in the county and state tournaments. But what these highlight reels fail to show is the countless hours of practice, constant repetition, failures, and sacrifices made to these moments that appear to be quote-unquote instant successes. If we continue to view our pure success as our basis of comparison, we will forever remain discontent and dissatisfied. As stated by the Buddhist Sanjin, a flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it. It just blooms. Each of us are instinctively different. It is unfair to compare each other by the same standard. Let's instead compare ourselves that walked into the, the person that walked into Carroll High School as a confused little freshman in the fall of 2019. Over these past four years, we've evolved, matured, and maybe grown a few inches in height. Even when we receive our diploma today, there is still so much room to grow and improve. We will continue to struggle, make mistakes, and learn from those mistakes. But when times are difficult, look around the room to those who have supported you. They'll guide and encourage you when you're on the brink of giving up. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank some of those people right now. Thank you to the faculty and the staff, from the teachers to the coaches, guidance counselors, custodians, and lunches who have made tremendous sacrifices so we can be sitting here today. I'm amazed by how hard our teaching puzzles to be as succeed and receive our diplomas. I'd like to thank all of my classmates who have supported me through words of encouragement and occasional laughs. Thank you to my sister, who gave me some great content for my speech. I couldn't have made it here without your amazing TED Talks, advice, and acai rules. Thank you to my mom and dad, I don't thank enough for their constant love, support, and advice. The countless hours, days, and years you spent trying to provide me and my sister the best possible life and not invisible. Lastly, I'd like to give my appreciation to the wonderful ChatGPT for helping me survive high school and writing my speech. Just kidding, just kidding. Maybe just a few parts, just a few parts. Class of 2023. We've grown up from our worry-free days of participating in elementary school field days. We've met incredible people who believe in us and pushed us beyond our limits. We also inspired the people around us and made a positive impact on this school and this community. Although we're embarked on new challenging paths, we must remain true to ourselves with every single decision that we make. I encourage us as we ride the waves of change to avoid setting unrealistic expectations and to accept that our journeys are unique to each of us. Congratulations, Class of 2023, and good luck. I'd like to now welcome up the Governor Educator of the Year Program, Teacher of the Year for Fairlawn High School, Annie Yan. Good evening, Superintendent Norcia, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Lecatina, Board of Education members, administrators, colleagues, families, and the graduating class of 2023. I want to 
start by saying congratulations. Today we gather to celebrate you and your tremendous accomplishment and I'm honored to be here with you. I can't believe how fast time flies and things progress. I remember when I graduated from high school, then college, then stepped into the classroom as a first year teacher. And it seems like it was just yesterday when I got yelled at by a substitute to get back in line during the fire drill, with me yelling back, I'm a teacher. But 10 years have already passed since. Similarly, four academic years have already passed since you stepped foot into the high school. As a class of 2023, you've all been on a wild ride together, from being quarantined during the COVID pandemic, to learning through Zoom. Do you remember how the first time last year we removed our masks and thought, wow, you look nothing like what I thought you'd look like? In addition, your graduating class also witnessed artificial intelligence rapidly shaping our society. You've been through a lot sharing the same surreal experience. And senior year was the closest to the traditional experience of high school you've gotten. Well, until the Canadian wildfire smoke was sent our way. But we pushed through that, and look how quickly this year is already a closed chapter in your book of life. There comes a point in your life when you realize how quickly time goes by, and how quickly it has gone. Life is also uncertain. You never know what can happen. As you leave high school and walk this new road, you'll have rewarding moments and opportunities. There will be new expectations of you and new challenges, and along the way, you will make mistakes and some roads may lead to dead ends. But I want you to remember that mistakes and failures are a necessary part of growing, learning, becoming successful, and just being human. In fact, many of the successful people we know today have traversed bumpy roads, some scattered with pedal, a pebble, some with boulders, Consider Shark Tank, a show where a panel of investors called Sharks decide whether to invest in entrepreneurs as they make business presentations on their company or product. Years ago, a rejected contestant, Jamie Siminoff, returned home broken dejected after failing to get an investment, only to come back the following season as a shark after making over $400 million on his ring doorbell. Siminoff's story proves that failure should never stop you from pursuing your quest, just like the stories of Oprah Winfrey, Stephen King, Walt Disney, and Michael Jordan. Keep persevering through times of uncertainty and hardship. And sometimes, in the process of repairing things and becoming better, we actually create something unique, beautiful, and resilient. And you don't realize your full potential until you go through the tough times. There is a centuries-old Japanese art technique called kintsugi, where broken pottery pieces are repaired and mended back together with liquid gold. With this technique, it's possible to create original and always different works of art, each with its own story of fragility and beauty due to the unique cracks formed when the objects break. Once completed, beautiful themes of gold glint in the conspicuous cracks of ceramic ware, giving a one-of-a-kind appearance to each repaired piece. Using this as a metaphor for making mistakes, healing ourselves, and embracing our history serves as an important lesson. We all experience difficulties in our lives. Rather than hiding the cracks and imperfections, we can accept them and find new perspectives in these events. So confront your challenges head on and don't be afraid of taking chances. Let yourself be vulnerable. Chase those dreams you have no matter how big they seem. Embrace the flaws, imperfections, and gain symmetry of life. leave the ceremony tonight and you reflect on your high school journey, I invite you to think of your own personal story. What are the things that have come and hit you, whacked and cracked you, sit with the pieces and as you assemble them back together, 
Think about the gaps and pieces missing that you cannot wait to fill with gold after you walk away tonight. I'm excited for you to highlight your journey and create the map of your experiences in the pursuit of your dreams. Your life up to now has transformed you into strong, resilient, and prepared young adults ready to tackle everything the future has in store for you. Once again, congratulations, class of 2023. May the rest of your lives be nothing short of spectacular. Thank you. Good evening once again, Fairlawn High School family. At this point, I would normally comment on the weather, but shh, I don't want to be a jinx. So here's the rest of the speech. First, I would like to welcome the family members and friends who have come to witness this special celebration. You have been these young people's teachers every second of their lives. We have educated them for only a short while. We thank you for loaning them to us over the last four years, and especially for everything you have done to support them throughout that time. So, class of 2023, please give your families and friends behind you a big round of applause. I'd also like to acknowledge seated on stage our Board of Education members in attendance this evening, led by President Ron Barbarulo. Also in attendance are our Central Office Administrators, led by Superintendent Nick Norcia. Our District Supervisors, and from Fairlawn High School, our Class Advisors, and administrators, Place President Mel Jershauer, and Fairlawn High School PTA President Lisa McClement. Last but certainly not least, the unsung heroes, our administrative assistants, custodians and maintenance crews, musicians, AV tech, advisors and students, teachers, and counselors with, cap with graduation related duties, all of whom have worked so hard for this ceremony. Now, I'd like to recognize our Fairlawn High School Educators of the Year. You just heard from Annie Yon, Fairlawn High School Teacher of the Year. And also Elise Meltzer, Educational Support Professional of the Year. I thank all of our faculty for their support of our graduates and their excellent work every day with our students. In particular, I'd like to recognize our retirees, staff members who have served our students with dedication. Our retiring staff, our paraprofessional Kathleen Del Canton, and teachers Lise Samard, Costa Paniotto, and Donna Brodowski. I'd like to cap off my recognitions by spotlighting our high school and this class of 2023. Our high school recently moved up 14 spots in the New Jersey Department of Education rankings since 2018, the last time those were released. This school year, we had so many prideful moments on our competition fields, our performing arts stages, and in our classrooms. Academically, the class of 2023 boasts 14 National Merit Commended Scholars. Students from this class have been ex accepted into some of the most prestigious institutions in the country, including Ivy League colleges 
and outstanding technical schools. In the spirit of service above self, I would like to, to recognize all our graduates who have earned their Scouting Eagle or Gold Awards, are entering our armed services, or are dedicated to becoming first responders or healthcare workers. Let's recognize them now with a round of applause. A further note about armed services. On Veterans Day this school year, we dedicated a military tribute monument and reflection wall at Fairlawn High School. Special thanks to Ms. DeSantis, Ms. Burke, our Interact students, Buildings and Grounds Department, and everyone that worked so hard on that project. This now permanent part of our school will continue to show our community and our students the depth of our appreciation for generations to come. The class of 2023, 2023, 23 and me? You're now thinking, I've heard a bunch of his speeches. But where is he going with this now? If you don't know what I'm referring to, 23andMe is a DNA testing company. For a fee and a sample of your saliva, you are, quote, able to access, understand, and benefit from the endlessly interesting and diverse things your genetics can tell you. As I also found out on their website, it's as easy as one, order, two, spit, three, discover. Millions of people around the world have done this. With that said, please don't take this as an advertisement for 23andMe. But it got me thinking, what is the connection between the class of 23 and me. This class started high school with a shortened freshman year and an interrupted sophomore year. They came back for their junior and this, their senior year, with a sense of focus and camaraderie that really sets them apart. Though I'm not in their minds, and believe me, I don't need to be, I'd like to think that somewhere between distance learning and the halls of Fairlawn High School, this 79th graduating class may have come to the realization that this is where they belonged, where they should be, with you, their families and friends, with us, and with their class of 2023. In the twists and turns of these last four years, I've realized that this is where I should be. Graduates, when you're wondering about where 23 and you intersect, you don't need to spit into a test tube and pay a fee. Just look around you now. Take pictures with your eyes. Remember and feel. No matter what it took to get here, and no matter where you go after you walk off this field, this is part of your DNA. You'll always be welcome here. I hope you always feel at home here with the bagel in your hand and the train whistle in your ears. I paid them to come just at that time. NJ Transit's in a little bit of trouble, so, you know, goes a long way. I now ask the class of 2023 to please stand. <laughs> Superintendent Norcia, in my capacity as principal of Fairlawn High School, 
it is my happy task to state the following. High school graduation requirements are set forth by New Jersey State Statute and Administrative Code, Title 6A, Section 8, and Title 18A, Section 35. Locally, they are contained in Board of Education Policy 5460. Mr. Norcia, I certify that the students before you have met the graduation requirements of the Fairlawn Board of Education and the State of New Jersey. Therefore, it is my honor to present the Fairlawn High School Cutters, Class of 2023. Class of 2023, please be seated. And now, our Superintendent of Schools, Nick Norcia. Good evening, as Superintendent of Schools, and on behalf of the Fairlawn Board of Education, it is with great pride that the students sitting in front of you have met all of their graduation requirements and make up the class of 2023. We congratulate you and wish you the best of luck in your future. Thank you. And now to accept the class of 2023, the president of the Fairlawn Board of Education, Ron Barbarulo. Good evening, graduates, parents, family, friends, faculty, and administrators. Well, you made it. Tonight ends one journey as another one begins. As you embark on your next venture in life, no matter what you choose, you will face change and uncertainty. You need to embrace it all and work to become as successful as you can. Learn to enjoy every moment while preparing for the next step towards the future. Life takes us in many directions. My advice to you is to build your foundation on integrity, honesty, character, love, and faith. Through these, you will be able to overcome whatever life throws your way. So I say to the class of 2023, do not just be successful, redefine success. Find whatever is important to you and strive to achieve it. Look to make a difference in this world. Travel if you can. Read for fun. Yes, read. Learn something new every day. Volunteer. And always be kind. In closing, it was an honor to watch you grow and to find young adults. On behalf of the Board of Education, I want to wish all of you as much success and happiness life can bring. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. is the part we've all come for. Give us a moment here to make our preparations as we are about to present the diplomas to the class of 2023.
Ashika Jagadish, valedictorian. Janam Shah, salutatorian. Adam Skolnick, senior class president. Ashley Gomez, senior class vice president. Serena Paradiso, senior class secretary and SGA secretary. Asha Thomas, senior class treasurer and board of education representative. Melanie Malkazian, senior class publicist and SGA vice president. Annie Kabaze, SGA president. Nora Yadidia, SGA treasurer. Farida Abdelaziz. Hadi Abdul Ghaffar. Rami Abu Dawes. Allison Akampura. Anna Maria Javier Acosta. Suyash Adikari. Naeem Ahmed. Dylan Axe. Ariel Alania. Andrew Alava. Natalie Alcalde Sully. Amanda Alexander. Adriana Aloy. Roya Alton. Emma Alvarez. Logan Alvarez. Jalen Amasquita. Aminat Amosu. Kiernan Anderson. Anaya Andrew. JC Anderson. Camila Antigua. Storm Antonelli. Alexander Aponte. Maya Aronovic. Sarah Atia. Hillary Ascona. Ethan Acevedo. Aaron Fox. Joshua Buck. Kevin Fox. Clara Baga. Jada Banks. Alexi Baranov. Brandon Barker. Ashley Barragon. 
Justin Barsky. Ivan Basov. Sean Bautista. Katie Bazella. Abad Faye. Camille Belvis. Daniel Benzov. Joshua Ben Nunn. Mati Benanti. Michael Benzabenga. Daniel Bermudez Gracie Balin Shannon Blake Fiona Barada. Riley Bolt. Aram Bohajian. Don Bolzero. Carter Bummer's back. Annabelle Boone. Matheson Bray. Matthew Bria. Shauna Brightman. Oliver Buhiro. Gabriel Buhasira. Christian Burnett. Jonathan Candela. Emmy Candelario Sanchez. Adrian Calabajo. Adrian Cardenas. Carlos Cardoso. Angelina Carrillo. Julian Castillo. Guinevere Castro Melgarejo. Cassidy Cowles. Quincy Cavanaugh. John Chapigan. Ryan Chen.
Brian Chenu. Nicholas Chachese. Tom Sulikerin. Miguelski Colin Christensen Taha Sixty Taha Sixty Julie Connerly Richard Correa Leah Crespo Mia Crespo Giancarlo Crespo Hernandez Giovanna Cristini Skyler Crochiola Lara Crown Ariana Cruz Jaden Cruz Cameron Cusimano. Aiden Darian. Daniel Davidov. Katerina Davidov. Brian DeJesus. Andrew Dector Sarah Diaz Kyla Diaz Frank Tapero Thomas DiPietro Alec Domkowski. Alexander Dong. Jason Dong. Royce Dong. Claire Dunskaya. Charles Dorsch Edward Dunlap Matthew Duran Daniel Tapir Siddharth East Warren Gabriel Echevarria de los Santos. Zoe Einhorn.
Zoe Einhorn. Gregory Atalab. Emra Erdom. Celine Ezek. Henry Fabian. Christopher Viella. Nina Farias. Charlotte Farley. Daniel Fasano. Amanda Federico. William Felix. Scotty Feng. Kaylee Ferlanti. Malena Ferentino. Olivia Figueroa. Alexandra Finkel. Jaylene Francisco. Alexander Frangio. Kendall Frangiosa. Johnny Freeman. Morgan Fold. Emma Kalitsky. Gianna Garcia. Kirsten Garcia. Lucas Gaspar. Daniel Gaston. Ellie Gazart. Nicole Diorgo Biani. James Gergis. Justina Gabriel. Joseph Goldman. Cole Goodnow. Alex Gorokin. Talia Gordon. Alexander Hadash. Robert Grin. Nick Kubishaj. Ashley Gruyon. Benjamin Hand. Anjali Hari Krishna. Madison Howe. Daniel P. Quashi Kyle 
Hunter Heinen. Christina Hensley. Nicole Hickey. Valerie Hinnestroza. Molly Hockley. Milo Hookstra. Simon Hopwood. Jaden Hopfritz. Jonathan Hunal. Angelica Ignacio. Race K. Ikeda. Gabriella Ambrosia. Mahek Iman. Gianna Ingrati. Jack Isaacson. Asaf Izar. Patrick Yablonovsky. Rhea Jane. Mariani Genius Beery. Jessica Jardy Olin. Matthew Sean Chu. Sarah Jimenez. Victor Jimenez the third. Jung Jin Jibu. Jonathan George. Sophia Joyce. Emma Chuzak. Fatima Kale. Suman Kanda. Alexandra Katashev. Kieran Deep Core. Kristen Kennedy. Ilana Kerr. Ashley Kingsley. Barry Klein. Carly Klein. Robert Kinnear. Daniel Coca. Elon Kopakin. Zachary Korzak. Victoria Reliant. Kayla Lamb. Naomi Lamort. Melanie Lantigua. Yeah. 
Emily Lau. Raymond Lau. Ella Lebet. Audrey Lee. Catherine Lee. Nian Chow Lee. Lindsay Lyman. Rachel Lindsay. Sienna Lipke. Ariella Lipman Enriquez. Adrian Lishanaku. Adam Lorcor. Vincent Lopez. Justin Liu. Connor Lynn. Sean Lynn. Maggie Ma. Isabella Maffei. Jacob Nature. David Makarovsky. Sarah Manicum. Julian Maranzani. <laughs> Mia Marchand. Alexander Margulis. Matteo Marino. Elliot Markovich. Luis Marroquin. <laughs> Kyrie Martin. Andrew Martinez. Valerie Martinez. Alina Matthew. Roman McCoy. Ryan Mierholtz. Mitchell Mysek. Jacob Milchman. <laughs> Rachel Miller. Jason Mintut. Damian Mernachenko. Adam Muhammad Ali. Jason Morales. Eric Motika. M. 
Linda Mosehold. Matthew Yuri. Sophia Mushalova. Victoria Mitchick. Chiraj Narang. Tracy Narte. Tahelet Nebe. Rafael Noriega. Karina Morel. Dario Nunez. Mia Nunez. Eva Nuziel. Michelle O'Neill. Hilma Okada. George Olenek. Jacob Olszewski. Elena Oprin. Giovanni Orlando. Eli Outcout. Tyler Parada. Andrew Perrion. Sandy Patel. Joel Paulino. Indira Patero. Rebecca Paysock. Monica Petrosian. Brian Piccinini. Casper Piella. Olivia Piacic. Gianna Pizzarello. Alyssa Polishuk. Dylan Port Fleet. Jose Prado. Karen Prado. Diana Prieto. Sebastian Puerta. Emma Quinlan. Danielle Quintana. Nicholas Kiroga. Amir Rabo. Layla Raji. Marcello Ramirez. Nicholas Ramirez.
Diana Rasevich. Ibrahim Rashid. Throop Rout. Christopher Raimundo Robles. Ophir Regan. Lindsay Reichert. Amir Robinson Clarence Robinson the third Andrew Roxon Alisa Romanov oh, sorry. Luis Rojas Alisa Romanov. Marcus Rosado. Chase Rosenblum. Andrew Rosenblit. Alexander Rukaj. Ivalice Santiago Colon. Justin Santos. Aditya Sate. Anthony Skankarella. Andrew Scarpinato. Rachel Schmidt. David Schultz. Omri Schwager. Cameron Schwartz. Samantha Sednawi. Daniel Sidisius. Gabriel Stella. Daniel Sadu. Ethan Shacknow. Joey Shaw. Nita Shaw. Tamar Shalom. Elias Shamoon. Jeffrey Shapiro. Jordan Shepherd. Mark Shulkin. Nicholas Siglari. Maria Sheck. <laughs> Armand Priest Singh. Ben 
sneer. Lauren Soren. Adriana Sorrentino. Brendan Souza. Steven Spivak. Aiden Stankus. Ethan Steen. Jake Stein. Lauren Swast. Raymond Tabak. Pamela Taveras. Heather Teixeira. Xavier Teneo. John Toby. David Tenuti. Gianna Torres. Nancy Tosca. Ethan Coates. Brooke Trapner. Edward Travella. Brianna Simmerman. Natan Simmerman. Aiden Tupper. Anna Tui. Ryan Umstead. Iana Uhilez. Samuel Van Houten. Ian Van. Claudia Vares. George Barres. Matthew Barres. Chedwin Velez. Vanessa Diegas. Andrew Vogt. Christina Velasovic. Nazir Walker. Kai Walsh Kozler. Daniel Whalen. Wilson. Casey Wolfhouse. Sarah 
am right. Julia Yanko. Chetana Yaraban. Brandon Yarvin. Aaron Yassar. Zachary Vasquez. Adil Youssef. Ella Yurofsky. Jenna Euskaitis. Maya Zaslavsky. Alex Zeng. Eden Silver. And now I'd like to welcome up to 
present the class gift, the treasurer of the class of 2023, Asha Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty members, gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty members, and most importantly, the new graduates of Fairlawn High School. Good evening. My name is Asha Thomas, and as the senior class treasurer, I have the privilege of announcing a gift that will leave a lasting impact on the generations to come. It is my honor to reveal that the class of 2023 has chosen to establish a scholarship fund for future graduating classes of Fairlawn. Throughout our time here, we have witnessed firsthand the power of education and the incredible opportunities it can bring. We have experienced the transformative power of knowledge, the guidance of dedicated teachers, and the support of a close-knit community that has nurtured our dreams and aspirations. By establishing the Class of 2023 Scholarship Fund, we aim to pay forward the countless blessings that we have received during our years at Fairlawn High School. This scholarship will be awarded to hardworking, dedicated students who have demonstrated excellence in class leadership. These funds will first be allocated to the Classes of 2024, 2025, and 2026 in gratitude for the tireless efforts and endless support they have shown us. In addition, these classes, along with the Student Government Association, will receive a monetary gift that will help fund class-specific and school-wide events. Our class strongly believes in the potential and promise of future generations, and we want to ensure that future cutters have every chance to succeed. In closing, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2023. Together, we have achieved great things, and we will continue to do so as we venture into the next chapter of our lives. Let this scholarship fund be a testament to our unity, compassion, and dedication to leaving a lasting impact on the world. Thank you. And now to address the class of 2023, its president, Adam Skolnick. Students, families, friends, faculty, staff, and anyone here to witness the class of 2023 graduation. My name is Adam Skolnick, and I'm pleased to stand in front of you today as the president of class of 2023. On behalf of all of my classmates, I'd like to start by saying thank you. To our families, we are thankful for everything you have done to get us here today. 
We are thankful for your continued support, for constantly putting up with us, and even though we may not say it enough, we love you. To our friends, thank you for being there when we needed you most. We have spent a lot of time together over the past four years, and while our friendship may change and evolve as we go our separate ways, remember that we are always a phone call or text away. To our teachers, we seriously could not have done it without you. Be sure that you have made an impact on the young minds of 411 graduating students today. To my parents, thank you for supporting me no matter what happens. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait for what's to come. To my brother, thank you for being someone I can always count on. If I ever needed advice or help, you were always there for me. And lastly, to everyone that has assisted us in getting to this moment today, we truly cannot thank you enough for your help. Let's take a step back. Four years ago, we began a new chapter of our lives when we walked into the high school for the first time as little freshmen. We were still using our big red lockers, taking notes in two-inch binders, and lugging them home with a backpack full of homework. In February, for the first time ever, over 100 freshmen attended the annual dance and game night. And then, about a month later, everything changed. We began our first stint of distance learning, which was something we had never done before. And hopefully, we'll never have to do it again. And we finished the year hoping for a better sophomore experience. But we did not get anything close to that. Instead, we saw our teachers in a tiny box on a Zoom call each day. The lack of social contact with friends is what made this year the most difficult. But we got through it somehow and got great news in the summer that Governor Murphy had allowed schools to reopen for our junior year. Even though we were supposed to wear masks, everybody was just happy to be back. As life began returning to normal, we capped off our third year with senior portraits and a junior prom where everything, aside from the DJ song selection, was amazing. And that brought us to senior year. COVID restrictions were finally lifted, and with the support from our fellow officers, the wonderful Ms. Velasco and Mr. McCourt, administration permitted us to have an amazing senior prom and a great class trip to Six Flags. I am so thankful to have served as your president over the past four years, and every single second that I have dedicated to student council and this class, whether it was a meeting, bake sale, food night, trip, or dance, was well worth it. What I do not address in this brief summary of our time at FLHS is all the hard work and effort that each one of you put in so that you could walk across the stage tonight. Every test, project, assignment, and all the endless hours of studying, especially for AP exams, was all part of the plan. The plan to receive our diplomas and move on to bigger and better things. The plan to work hard and make a positive impact on society. The plan to be great. While everybody's lives will change in their own unique way, I challenge all of you to continue working hard and chasing your dreams. I believe the only way to complete a task is to honestly believe it's possible and to believe that you can do it. So as long as you keep the right mentality and stay positive, I am certain that you will be great and make an impact on society. Reflecting on the power of education and knowledge, we must acknowledge that our high school experience has provided us with more than just academic knowledge. It has instilled in us the invaluable skill of critical thinking. Throughout these four years, we have been challenged to analyze, question, and seek understanding beyond the surface level. We have learned to approach problems from multiple angles, embracing diverse perspectives, and crafting innovative solutions. This ability to think critically will serve us well in a world that is constantly evolving and, and presenting new complexities. While looking for inspiration and ideas for this speech, I watched the late Steve Jobs 
address Stanford University's class of 2008 in a long and impactful speech. I want to highlight a quote from Mr. Jobs, whose impact on the world changed it forever. He said, your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living the result of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown on your inner voice. On your inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Class of 2023, we are part of a generation that holds immense potential to shape the future. The world needs our fresh perspectives, determination, and our commitment to positive change. Let us be catalysts for progress, advocates for justice, and champions of change. Each one of us has the power to make a lasting impact no matter how big or small. In, clo in closing, as we bid farewell to Fairlawn High School, let us carry with us the lessons we have learned, the friendships we have forged, and the memories we have created. Let us step forward into the world with confidence, knowing that we are prepared to face the challenges that lie ahead. Together, as the class of 2023, we will make our mark on this world, and leave an undeniable legacy. Congratulations, and may we all continue to strive for greatness. I look forward to seeing you all at the 10-year reunion. I would now ask that everyone please rise. And welcome to the microphone to sing the Fairlawn High School alma mater, Madison Howe and Gianna Ingrati. Everyone, please remain standing. Just a couple of quick public service announcements before we have our conclusion. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. 
few things to our graduates, right? We talked about that precious cargo, your diplomas, all right? So after things get crazy here in a couple of minutes, make sure that you know where they are, along with your caps, you're going to want those. Another thing, project graduation, okay? Project graduation, uh, after we've had our festivities up here, make your way down to school, check-in is at the D-Wing for project graduation. And finally, after we've had our conclusion, families and friends are welcome to come onto the field and join us in celebration. All right, everyone, get your cameras ready. It's that time. Graduates of the class of 2023, it's time to turn your tassels from right to left. Time for the big pro. Ready? One, two, three! Congratulations to the class of 2023! Thank <laughs> you. 